Hello, Libra. How are my Libras doing? This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, let's see what is coming towards you in this love thing. All right. Please do keep an open mind. You can uh, switch this however you need to switch it around, okay? All right. So you have need to talk, fluttering hearts, and having it all. So some freak <laughs> feels like they need to talk to you, Libra. Um, <laughs> Apparently, this freak wants to have it all with you. Well, let's see. So when we cut the deck, we have the Four of Wands and the Ace of Wands. You may be connecting with any fire sign. Okay, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. A Taurus or a Libra like yourself. My hands like sore. Flicking cars for a living ain't, ain't no easy job. <laughs> Let's come into Libra in love. What do we have? What love messages do we have for Libra in love? What is coming? Let's come into Libra in love. Libra, Libra. All right. Libra, you have the Six of Cups. Okay, it's interesting because you guys pull Six of Cups quite often. Um, I literally just pulled... I literally just pulled um, the Six of Cups for you guys on your last reading, I believe. I think so. But yeah, you could be going with a Scorpio or an Aries here. But it seems like um it seems like somebody is coming back from the past, obviously. Uh it doesn't have to be the far past, okay, but it does look like somebody's returning here. Um, I'm definitely seeing some kind of union, reunion, however you want to call it. Ace of Pentacles. I'm seeing for some of you, there could be an offer of living together. Okay, now that obviously depends on your history, um, uh, your, you know, relationship with one another, okay? But you see that house, there's literally a house here. So I feel like this freak has thoughts of like living together or something like that. Um... Or I'm hearing this freak wants to come back. <laughs> this freak wants to come back home, Libra. Okay. Now, for others of you, um, this could be a past life soulmate, obviously, coming into your life. Okay. But somebody misses you a lot, and I feel like they may be offering you stability, security. I feel like they're making some type of prop promise to you. Like they want to solidify like um them being, you know, you guys coming back together or some shit like that. Okay. You have three of pentacles and the empress. Okay, so yeah, somebody has commitment, marriage, renewing vows. Uh, taking things to the to a higher level on their mind with you, Libra. Okay, so they may want to discuss some plans of the next level. The next level could mean anything. It depends on your connection with each other, right? Um, next level could be, hey, let's talk about moving in together, or let's talk about renewing vows. Let's talk about having a relationship. Let's talk about having children. Let's talk about rebuilding what we have starting a relationship okay um let's come into libra and love what else do we have for libra and love what's coming oh libra you got some freak this person really um wants to commit okay we don't know what the taurus but somebody here really is serious about you in this freak <laughs> This freak is looking to commit. 
they want to take a serious step towards you. Um, ooh, but that hangman is like, maybe you would have to sacrifice something to be with this person or you would have to take into consideration something, maybe your job, maybe um, moving your location, uh, couples therapy, um, anything. Like, you're going to have to consider something before you do it. The hangman could be this period of, like I said, when you're just kind of trying to put it all, piece it all together here. Maybe you don't know what you're going to tell this freak, okay? You just don't know. Um, three of Pentacles for Libra and love. Yeah, so I don't know. I definitely see this person um, truly wanting this with you this time around. Some of you, maybe you just had a baby. Um, and this person wants to discuss, you know, taking care of the children, taking care of the child could be a uh, child support coming in here, but more than just child support, I feel like this freak wants to be with you again. Maybe they want to be a family again, if that applies to your situation. So some of you, this may require you to make a move that might be a little hurtful or devastating okay in some way shape or form um like if you have to let's say you know you guys are long distance and you might have to leave a job that you really love or you might have to um i don't know say bye bye to somebody or, and they mama or whatever i'm just playing um <laughs> there may like i said there may be some type of sacrifice in the situation if you do go through with this but this person's offering you stability and security. This freak wants to literally, like, I'm telling you, this person, there's something about signing a contract um, or renewing a contract, or renewing a vow with each other. Uh, I'm, I'm hearing keys. I don't know why I'm hearing keys. Um, this person may offer you to come back to live with them if, let's say, you lived with them before vice versa okay um is what i'm getting here okay this freak wants you to know that they're serious and you're not going anywhere okay um yeah this person's coming and they're showing up incredibly like ready to put the work in ready to fix things ready to um Take things to a higher level, okay? Interesting, interesting reading here. Um, this person wants it all with you. Best to prepare. It's just simple as that. Best to prepare. Yes. Coming to Libra in love. Libra. I don't know what the fear is about. Coming to Libra in love. Um, someone is surrendering here. For sure. So I'm hearing this could be someone who wants more than friends with you. They don't give a damn about what, uh, people's opinions anymore or whatever. Um, some of you, this could have been a situation to where there was some kind of factor here to where this person cared about other people's opinions or whatever. Now they're listening to what they want. So they may be telling you, look, I don't give a fuck if we live, um, if we work together, for example. Like, I want to be with you. I do want the next level. Because it doesn't feel like this person really does value you. And they what they feel for you is really deep, okay? So they see you as wifey, hubby, material, someone that they want to come home to. Someone that they want to have a family with, okay? So this freak is very serious, Libra, like I said, okay? Um...
Okay, so I'm hearing this freak has sleepless nights over you. Okay. They need they want to wake up to you, Libra, is what I'm getting. Like they're I don't know. This person wants you by their side. Crying over you. Watching your every move. Texting you soon. Getting advice on how to fix things with you. Yeah, some of you, you may be leaving a third party or they may be leaving a third party for you. However, that resonates. My feelings for you run deep. New love. Okay. You have bad habits. Some of you this freak had a bad habit. But they're apologizing. Okay. Driving by your house or job. Please take me back. Planning to see you soon. Social media message. Okay, so that's what we have, Libra. Who are these messages coming from for Libra in love? We have a Cancer. We have a Virgo. We have an Aquarius. A Sagittarius. Another Aquarius. Sagittarius, he's coming out. Who is this person for a Libra, please? Leo. Aries. Aries again. Scorpio, one more. Cancer again. Okay. Cool. And let's settle down. That's what I want to do. Let's cheer up. <sighs> All right. This freak is making a big commitment towards you. They're taking a big leap, a big step towards you. Okay, Libra? Just prepare and get ready is all I can say. Anyway. <laughs> oh, I can't move my bed. Okay. All right. Love y'all. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. <laughs>